Société Générale, one of the largest European financial services groups, reports results for Q3 2020. Frédéric Oudéa, hello. Hello, Nadia. And perhaps, uh, uh, can I take off my mask? We are, have a distance which is uh, secure. Absolutely, go right ahead. You are the CEO of Société Générale. How did Société Générale perform during this third quarter, which saw a slight rebound in economic activity? Well, we posted uh, good performances and uh, uh, we confirmed the expected rebound of the performances of all our businesses in, of course, a better environment following uh, the end of the lockdowns in most of the geographies in which we operate. So we have actually revenues which have increased very significantly versus the second quarter of 2020, but also which are actually slightly up even compared with the third quarter of 2019. We are maintaining a very strong discipline on the cost and hence uh, we are posting a very strong increase of our gross operating income. Very good news uh, is the cost of risk. The cost of risk is at 40 basis points higher than last year, which was very low, but significantly below uh, the provisioning uh, in the first half. And we can confirm the very good quality of our uh, assets. And we are able actually to confirm the outlook for the full year at the low range of uh, the initial uh, figures we had in mind beginning of the crisis. And at the end of the day, beyond the, the net result, which is uh, uh, profit of uh, more than 860 million euros. There is the, the capital. The capital ratio is, is also uh, increasing very significantly. We have a significant buffer above our regulatory requirements and it's a very important element which should give uh, comfort to our investors both in terms of financing our activity but also which gives us flexibility in terms of distribution of dividend and remuneration of the capital they have invested in Société Générale. Well, focusing on your various business lines now, what were the key trends? Well, let me start perhaps with the global banking and investment solution, uh, financing and also capital market activities, the ones which suffered from the, the dislocation of the market in the first half. The very good news is uh, really we have a, a strong increase of the uh, revenues, of course, not just versus the second quarter, but also uh, compared with last year. That shows the quality of the franchise. We are, of course, uh, moving forward in the reduction of our risk appetite in, in certain segments. But again, uh, we were uh, alongside our clients and uh, we can demonstrate that, yes, we have expertise which are valuable. And the net contribution of this uh, activity is um, significantly higher compared with uh, last year. Regarding the French retail, well, we are benefiting, of course, that the fact that French people are consuming again uh, paying more, uh, spending more money, uh, and of course, uh, we have a good dynamic on the credit, in particular on the corporate side. And the teams of Société Générale are fully mobilized to help the economy uh, moving forward. And uh, we have uh, uh, 20 billion euros uh, of uh, guaranteed loans, which have been already validated by our teams for our clients, for example. And on this activity, the revenues are going down versus last year. The interest rate, which weighs on our margin, in particular because of the flow of deposits, you know, which is a, a cost for us, banks, but beyond a very strong resilience of a, a return on equity. And regarding the international retail uh, and financial services, we have, of course, differences from one country to the other. Overall, also a good rebound of economies which have had also lockdowns, but the end of uh, the lockdowns have taken place end of the second quarter and we see similarities with the French retail, a rebound of the activity and overall a very good resilience of what we see uh, as growth engines going forward. And finally, as a second lockdown is deployed in countries around the world with additional economic impact, what are your priorities going forward? Well, clearly, uh, uh, finish as well uh, uh, the 2020 year is possible. So uh, carry on uh, accompanying our clients, uh, uh, of course, adapting to this environment. Uh, but we know how to operate in, this, uh, in, in, in these conditions. Beyond, I think it's important and we reflect that in our communication. We, we think forward and regarding uh, structural trends that this crisis is, ac is accelerating. I have in mind the digital transformation, 
Of course, and, and from that perspective, we want to pursue uh, the accompaniment of our clients in the way they consume banking services, but also the uh, energy transition. And we have taken very, very concrete commitments to show that we are embarking in a journey of responsibility towards that, in particular regarding our footprint in the extraction of oil and gas. We've decided to take a commitment to reduce in absolute terms in the short term, 2025, a date aligned with our next strategic roadmap, this footprint by 10%. Of course, carrying on accompanying our clients in their own transition, and in particular financing the gas, which is a legitimate energy and needed as a transition, but also putting forward the, the renewable and we are number one in the world in the financing of uh, renewable energy at the end of September. And so we are going also to exit uh, the new financing of uh, onshore uh, uh, gas and oil extraction in the US as part of that plan. So you see something which is measurable and uh, which illustrates the responsibility we have in this matter. Overall, in the coming months, we are going to develop our next uh, strategic plan but we will take uh, immediate actions in terms of communicating uh, to our investors in the coming weeks on uh, growth uh, businesses like ALD in the very coming days. In a, regarding our French retail, end of the year we will illustrate uh, the conclusion of this study to combine our two French networks, but also the potential of growth of Boursorama, the leading online bank in France. And then in the first quarter regarding our wholesale activities, whether it's financing or capital markets. So we will give a, a lot of uh, clarity to our shareholders on where we want to go. And I think it should give them a lot of comfort on the potential of Societe Generale in this uh, still challenging environment. Frédéric Oudéa, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.